All right, our next article, uh, in case you need to look at someone that you love, FaceTime is coming to Android and Windows via the web. So I don't, I mean, how, is that good? Like, it, that feels like a, like a sort of janky sort of workaround to me. I mean, what, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, I think. Okay. Um, I think it's a, a first step. I think what will likely happen here is that Apple will realize like, oh, wait, yeah, there is a big market. Yeah. And maybe we should build custom apps for these other things. And the right. only reason, like, you know, Apple has historically been resistant to do any of that. Um, the only reason why I think there might be an opportunity here is that you can get Apple Plus. Is it called Apple Plus? The TV Plus? Whatever it is. Yeah, it seems right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can get that on Roku, right? Oh, and yeah. you can subscribe on Roku and you hmm. can get all their stuff then on Roku and right. not have an Apple product. So to me, that's a step that mm. is like, okay, we recognize that this could make us a lot of money. So we're willing to go away from our principles of you have to do this only on Apple products if there's a lot of money to be made. I feel like this is a step in that direction of, hey, we want to just further kind of entrench ourselves as, yeah. as the go-to video platform. Um, I've actually never used FaceTime because I don't have any Apple products. Right. Uh, I hear from people that it's pretty good. Oh, um, dude, the quality is top notch. I, I would say it's on par or better than every other video conferencing thing I've done on a phone. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I, I think that is this is a smart move in terms of that, because to then convince people like, hey, maybe you should get Apple products. This is a good foray into that. And be yeah. like. Hey, yeah. I'm just going to show you how good our stuff is. Yeah. And well, I mean, just imagine how much better it would be if you were on our hardware. That I mean, that was really the play they made with the iPod. Like the reason I'm an Apple user today, right now, the reason there's an app, there's all this Apple stuff all over my, my house is the iPod. I got an iPod. I was so profoundly impressed with how much better it was than every other product on the market. It, I just, I just fell in love hook, line and sinker with the usability of Apple products. And from there it was just, and then it's like, Oh, well, let me, let me get the laptop and the laptop works so great. And I'm like, Oh, well now I got, now let me get the iPhone. And then it, I mean, it's just, it's just one. And, it, and it's, it's self reinforcing. It's a positive cycle over and over and over again. So, yep. I mean, they could do the same thing with FaceTime and get more people and more market share and the same exact thing can happen. So. Well, let me tell you who hasn't bought into Apple hook, line and sinker. Uh, it's their employees. They mm -hmm. uh, pushing back on the return to office with a internal letter, which is, of course, now no longer internal. Nope. Uh, and I think it was 80 people that had co-authored this letter, but there were a lot of people that were supporting it. Yep. And this just keeps going back to the thing that has been a constant theme that we've been talking about for I weeks know. and weeks. I know. Of so many companies. And it's funny because I was actually talking to somebody I know that works for one of these big mega corps that is also talking about bringing people back. And I told them, I was like, you know, I feel like what these companies are doing is they're just trying to justify the ridiculous large amounts of money that they have spent on these building and campuses. Yep. And Apple is yep. definitely one of them, right? They, yep. what, what was the new campus out in California? It was um, over a billion dollars. Billions. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was sure. huge. And yeah. they had the spaceship looking thing and it, and it's beautiful. Don't yep. get me wrong. Right. But they're trying to justify it by going like, okay, we got to get people back here because we built this billion dollar shrine to ourselves and nobody mm -hmm. is here. Yep. And I feel like a lot of these decisions are because of that versus what actually makes sense for the business and the yep. employees. Yep. Yep. Totally agree. I totally agree. And, and, and so a couple, a couple of interesting things about this letter. The first is Apple's letter said, Hey, we're going to come back. I think it was Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So they're yep. going to you know, be, be home Wednesdays and Fridays, which actually I think that's smart. Uh, and then, the, but the other thing was the letter sort of focused on, we know many of you have missed seeing your colleagues, but it completely neglected the other point of view, which is we know most of you have loved the freedom that you've experienced by working from home. Right. And so it's, it's just, to me, it's just very tone deaf. Uh, they're yeah. not recognizing the reality that they find themselves in and they've got to find a way to do a better job. I mean, I, yeah, they, they don't even talk about like so many of these companies don't talk about how much time employees are saving in commuting. Like, I don't just, think any of them talk about it. They don't want to admit it, but it's right. Wild. I mean, 
Because at a minimum, most people, you're probably saving at least five hours a week. In minimum. Community, right? Assuming a half an yep. hour each way. Yep. Most people, though, it's even more than that, right? Oh, like yeah. Here in Atlanta, if you're working in town and you're living in the suburbs, you're probably talking 45 minutes to an hour one way. Yep. So you're talking an hour and a half to two hours a day. Mm-hmm. So up to 10 hours a week, you've, yep. gotten, you've gotten a whole work day back. Yep. And you're so yeah. much more happy because you don't have to worry about... Like yeah, switching lanes and which lane is faster yeah. and should I get an HOP? Like none of that stuff. No, that matters. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. yeah. All right. So moving to our next article, Facebook plans first smartwatch for next summer with two cameras and a heart rate monitor. So there's, I, okay. It, and, listen. and probably a bunch of other sensors they're not going to tell you about, but they're going to track your data and then sell it to other people. Right. So yeah. So that's right. So listen, listen, people, if, <laughs> if you want, you know, one of those bracelets you wear when you're on house arrest, like just get that. You don't need to get this. Like, it, you know, you can be tracked I think you that can way. Get those on eBay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Just get that. But then, but so a couple things here. Number one, two cameras, one camera on the front of the watch. So you can video call and look like a psycho talking to your wrist, like you're Dick, Dick Tracy or something. Right. And then, the second and you camera, realize like 75% of our audience was just like, I don't know. I know Tracy they're going to go look it up. It's cool. They're going to be like know. these two old guys it's a radio on this wide. podcast talked yeah. about some guy named Dick yeah. Tracy. Who's that? Yes. What is that? This, but the second thing is apparently there's going to be a camera on the back of the watch and somehow you'll remove the face of the watch and, and hold it up to take a picture. And I can't for the life of me understand how that's a good idea because like for so many, because either you're going to have to take the whole watch off, take a picture, which is incredibly stupid <laughs> or the face of the watch is somehow detachable, which is also incredibly stupid. So like, cause you makes, know, it's going to just come off whenever that's and what then I'm saying. go crash into the ground. If you're and one of those crushed. people that like rolls the window down and like hangs your arm out the window, that watch is gone bouncing down the street, taking pictures and posting pictures of the asphalt on your Facebook profile when, without you knowing, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. So. They're, they're going to end up issuing a, a advisory saying, oh, I'm sorry, you're using the, this is like Apple when people were holding the phone wrong, according yeah. to them, right? <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, I So do. Facebook I is going to be like, oh no, the watch is only for your right hand if you yeah. drive so that yeah. you can leave your left hand <laughs> out the window. There you go. That's it. The other, the other, the other part of this article that I thought was a little bit hilarious was the, the, the article says or states or claims it's part of Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg's plan to build more consumer devices that circumvent Apple and Google. And here's what's funny. Okay. Like that, like these, these companies are not the same. They're not playing the same game. They're not breathing the same air. They're not in the same, in the same stratosphere. Zuckerberg has no possibility of circumventing Apple and Google at this point with devices. It's not possible. What he, what he needs to focus on is making sure his platform survives because it's not doing well. <laughs> like, like work on survivability and then figure out the rest. That's all I'm trying to say. So. I mean, you remember seeing all of those ads for Facebook portal, right? Yep. Yep. Do you know one person that has that? Oh, no, 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 no. I've never I, seen. I don't know yeah. anybody no. that has a Facebook and, portal. And just a reminder, that's that video conferencing tool that like follows you around the room. Like you said that, the word that, like, Facebook instantly portal. Instantly you can say uh, like call whoever yeah. and then it instantly connects with them. Yeah, you, you. it took me a minute to even remember what you were talking about <laughs> when you said that. I was like Facebook portal. Yes, I, no, I've never heard. I've never even heard of somebody owning it. Not only do I not know somebody, I don't know of someone that knows someone that owns it. So, yeah. I mean, it's same just, here. I, I've. I've never seen anybody post about it. Uh, not even people I don't know, like people Mm-mm. that I just follow on Twitter nope. or whatever. I've never seen anybody say like, oh, I just had a portal conversation with whoever. Like also, yeah. that's a weird thing to say. But uh, yeah, you know, yeah, that is a weird thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, talking about uh, weird things to say, Ohio sues Google and seeks to declare the Internet company a public utility how dumb are you people in Ohio? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is I was, happening? I was really looking forward to your response to this one. So that's great. Yeah. They are not a public utility, however much you want to make them. I mean, this listen, whole thing of like, there you are can alternatives. use another search engine. I, may I recommend DuckDuckGo? It is Look, very good. I, I feel like when... Your alternative is like literally three seconds away, right? How long does it take to click the browser bar and type in duckduckgo.com? Like when you're when your alternative is three seconds away, 
I don't feel like you get like people can just make a choice to go somewhere else. It's not a big deal. They're right? not a utility. No. You don't even understand what a utility is, Ohio. <laughs> they are not a utility until like, look, let's okay. Real talk. Ohio. Yeah. When we get all of our citizens to have a hundred percent access to broadband, high speed internet, then maybe let's talk about Google now being a utility. Yes. But until that yeah. day, Maybe we should focus on the thing that actually is more important, which is getting access to everybody, everybody totally having access agree. to broadband internet. Like, totally I don't agree. know the stats on Ohio, but I guarantee you not 100% of their citizens have access to broadband internet. Yeah. And I'm not talking about this 10 megabit janky broadband internet. I'm talking yeah. about at least 100 megabits, if yep. not more, yep. being broadband, because I think we can all agree 10 megabits, whatever the FCC says right now. That is not broadband. That is like, that's barely table stakes yeah, of being on right. the internet. That's right. All right. Well, uh, speaking of things people want, uh, Tesla turns common complaint into new business venture. They may be going into restaurants. So one of the common complaints is when people would go to charge their Tesla, they would want to eat because they want to charge and eat. I mean, I guess like, listen, it's kind of like when you go to fill up on gas, you suddenly get hungry and you got to go get that corn dog that you're going to regret for the next three days. Like that's, you know, <laughs> like that's what you want to do. Right. So this is a similar thing, I guess. Right. It, it's funny you said that because I was going to say the same thing of like, I wonder if the Tesla fan boys and fan girls are going to complain when they get food poisoning at these diners yeah. because Tesla can do no wrong. Yeah. And so well, I mean, like, and what kind of food would they serve? Right. Like if you own it, like, I feel like you had to serve like sushi at that point. Like you got to go, you got to go high end. High right? end. Yeah. yeah. You know, like it's sushi and it's like hamburgers that are too small and caviar. And yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, that's, it can't be like, it, can't, it has to be like a tapas restaurant there you where, go. You, where you pay yeah. a lot of money. And mm -hmm. then afterwards you're like, wait, I'm still hungry. What happened? Or like now? one of those restaurants that's like a shark, a charcuterie board where it's like, you're eating all these like little I, meats and you get done and you're like, I don't even is know. That what that, what, is that how you pronounce I'm it? I'm not actually sure. I, I, I call it charcuterie <laughs> or shark. I think it's charcuterie. I think, I don't know, man. I really don't know. So We're, we are clearly not fancy enough for yeah. a board of mm -mm. food no just give me some give me some stuff and i'll eat it like i, I got I, I, I went man. to one of those restaurants once and you know it was one of those things where you like you go and you eat this very expensive meal and and then you go home and you eat the real meal so that you can you know like survive so that, that's um, what i was gonna say yeah. like so how many yeah like, i've done that before too i've gone yeah. to events mm -hmm. and then i'm like this is not enough food to mm -mm. live on like no. i i'm gonna be hungry at the end of this yeah that's right yeah this is, i don't i don't understand uh, talking about things that I don't understand, but maybe will understand one day, uh, Netflix, the store. So you heard that right. Uh, Netflix is launching a store and honestly, this is kind of a brilliant idea. So if you go to netflix.shop, uh, in your browser, just type that in, uh, mm -hmm. you can do it while we're talking. Uh, you can buy stuff from your favorite TV shows. No. That are on Netflix, right? So Netflix properties. I will probably never buy any of this stuff because just no, but I'm sure there are people that do love some of these things. Um, like they talk about the the TV show Lupin uh, that is on there. Have you watched that show, by the way, Lupin? No, mm -mm, not even heard of it. It's, it's a, I think it's French originally. I watched the first season, if you want to call it that. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's not really set up as a season per se. Okay. There's a second season coming. Yeah. It was okay. Okay. It wasn't that fantastic in my opinion, mm. but people are flipping out about it. All right. I'll check know. it out. Well, they, they've got something they on here. I just something. went and they, it's, it's hype land and something that I can't pronounce. Some kind of collection. Looks like a bunch of red t-shirts. I don't know. Yeah. It looks okay. I mean, oh, you know, yeah, this cool. Yasuki. Yasuki. Yeah. Yasuki. So it looks like it's like, like almost like designer t-shirts and stuff beams and eden like i don't know what any of this stuff is i yeah, feel I, like I i'm showing my shows age if, right are now they shows? that's what i feel like i don't know yeah i i feel like if we were 25 years younger though we would know for sure so but i mean you know. we both have netflix we can yeah. still watch the shows yeah I've yeah i'm, I'm gonna show. choose my shows based off of the apparel that's available in the store that's gonna be my next thing for sure so <laughs> that's Maybe a way to go. 